Hello, my beautiful planty people, and how are you doing today? I am doing great. I hope you are doing great. The sun is shining. We are so close to spring. I think we're about two and a half weeks away, and let me tell you, I am itching to get out into my garden where I hope that I will be able to actually film some content for you this year. Um, I think this year my garden will be a little bit more established, um, so I'm excited to share that with you. Anywho, <laughs> If you're new here, hi, hello, welcome. My name is Nikki. This is my channel, Plants, Pots, and Whatnots. And for my GFPs, my gluttons for punishment, who keep coming back for more punishment. Thank you. Just love you guys. This is the greatest. <laughs> Anywho, so today I thought I would just do a quick and dirty video. So we are going to be taking a look at, um, and yes, this is a little delayed, but you know what? It's my channel. I can do what I want. Okay. Anyway, so we're going to be taking a look at my top five plants of February. So these are plants that have done really well lately, that have been growing, growing, <laughs> what? Uh, that have been growing really well. Uh, just ones that have really stood out to me in the month of February. Now I have done videos like this before, and I know a lot of other people do these videos, but I think it's really fun to just kind of as you guys know, as plant collectors, our tastes change and we have different plants depending on the day. We change our favorites, like we change our underwear, as long as you, you know, change your underwear frequently. I hope. Anyway, <laughs> so today I'm going to be sharing with you those plants. So those plants that I just have been really loving lately. So without further ado, let's go check them out. Okay, thanks for coming back. <laughs> okay, so in this video, I kind of wanted to um, showcase some plants that don't normally get a lot of airtime. You know what I'm saying? Um, so it's not going to be a whole lot of the plants that you typically see on the channel, like my big philodendrons and all that kind of stuff. Um, these are plants that I don't often show on the channel that have really just touched a special place in my heart over the last month. So the first one on that list is this beautiful one. So this is my Anthurium vitarifolium, and I'm really trying not to drop it. That would be devastating. Um, so this plant has just done the most lately. Um, this is her newest leaf and, okay, Kaylee Ellen head test. Actually, you could do like a torso test. She's long. <laughs> anyway, this plant, um wasn't doing the absolute greatest in the spot that i had it in i think it was just too much light um most anthuriums don't require super high light conditions this one is no exception uh in fact you can see some of the leaves were a little bit um lighter where i think it did get a little bit of um burn but now she sits right in that blank spot right there so there is the light right there <laughs> And then her uh, her belts or her leaves do get some of the the light from the window and the the light that's a little bit lower down there. Um, anyway, since I put her up there, she has put out um, two leaves, I think. Nope, just this big one, I think. No, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> I think it was these two. Anyway, this is her most recent leaf. Doesn't even matter. This is her most recent leaf. It's not completely hardened off yet. It is still kind of soft. Um, but she actually had spider mites about, I would say about three to four weeks ago. And uh, here is a picture of the spider mites on the inflorescence of this plant. I tried to get a really cool picture of them because a, it was kind of neat, but super gross. Um, anyway, we got that situation taken care of and she is absolutely thriving right now. I love this plant so much. The leaves just feel, they're not soft, like velvety soft, but they're more like satin. That's a good way to explain it. They're satiny, but they don't, sh they have the feeling of satin, but they're not like shiny like that okay anyway uh so that is plant number one my anthurium vitarifolium she big girl <laughs> okay the next one that i want to show you you probably only see in like tours and stuff and it is this burrow's tail 
I bought this Burrow's Tail when it was quite small and it has done so much growing just in the last like, I don't know, two months maybe? But you can see all of the tips there where the light green is. That's all new growth. She does need to be uh, watered right now. Her leaves are starting to get a little wrinkly and it's probably hard to show you. Let me try. So you can see on these leaves right there, hopefully that's focusing a little, but they're, they're just kind of dimpling a little. Uh, so that is a sign that this lady probably could use a drink. Um, super easy plants to take care of. Um, there is a light directly above this and I really think that has helped with um, all of the new growth, but <laughs> look at it. It's so cool. I mean, most burl's tails you see kind of come out and trail down but because the light is above this one. It's, <laughs> it's growing like up, right? Now, eventually these will become heavy enough that they will hang. But I just love this plant so much. It doesn't get enough airtime on my channel, so I definitely had to show it to you. It's just so stinking cute. <laughs> anyway, so that's plant number two. I'm gonna go water her and then hang her back up and I'll be right back. Okay, this next one that I wanna show you is such a cute plant. Um, you see it occasionally here and there, but I've never really showcased it. Uh, so this is it right here. This is my Callista Repens, I believe it's called. Callista? Callista? Callista Repens? I don't know. I'll put it on the screen. Anyway, um, it is so cute. I don't know if the color is coming off on screen, but look at how pretty this plant is. Now, this plant grows incredibly quickly. Are we focusing? Hopefully, <laughs> it's focusing. Um, but it grows so fast. So I got a cutting of this from a friend, maybe... I think it was like late summer, maybe even fall, and it was just tiny. And I'm like, that wasn't that long ago. And this thing has exploded. I have up potted it twice already, uh, maybe three times actually. And it's just, it keeps going. They're gorgeous. Um, I'm just letting it get big and bushy and it's pink and green. And I love this plant so much. I think um, I might actually take some cuttings of this and create two of them so I can have like two of them hanging somewhere. I don't know where, but I, I feel like I just want two big ones hanging somewhere. Uh, I think it would look so pretty, but you can see like the backs of the leaves. If you can get my face out of there. Where is it focusing? I don't even, oh, there we go. But the backs of the leaves are this beautiful purple, but the tops of the leaves kind of shift from pink to purple to this really pretty light green color. It's just a gorgeous plant, super easy to grow. If you can find one of these, highly recommend. Super rewarding, incredibly easy to take care of. Um, I mean, it, it's, it honestly, it's, it's like the easiest plant, I think. One of the easiest plants in my collection um, for how much it gives me in return. Anyway. Awesome plant. Had to show you guys that one because I've been super loving her lately. So that is my Calissa Repens, I think. <laughs> okay, this is the next one I want to show you. So this is my wide form Monstera Adansonii. Uh, this one is looking fabulous. I actually ended up putting it on a moss pole or it's actually a jute pole that I made. Um, but you can see I want this huge totem style Adansonii. And I saw this one at Vandermeer's um, maybe six months ago. Maybe longer than that. I don't even know what it was. Anyway, and it just had the most big, beautiful leaves. And I just loved the look of it. I mean, look at the size. My lighting is brutal right now. Let me get closer. Does that work? Anyway. Um, I lost the light to the other side of my house, so the natural light is gone by the way of the dodo. Um, anyway, this plant is doing amazing. It actually <laughs> just went through thrips, not that you can tell, uh, but I did find a few on it. So we went on a trip to the bathtub and we got a good wash down and um, it has bounced back from that really well and is growing again and it looks fantastic. I have this sitting, I'll show you here, in the corner beside my shelf at the top of the stairs. 
and I love how it looks there. It's getting the right amount of light. They don't like super bright light, but they also don't really thrive in low light. P.S. Nothing does. Nothing likes low light. Snap FYI. Okay. Anywho, um, this plant is just doing so great. I repotted it. It wasn't like a hanging pot, um, but it was just getting so big that I put it in this big gray plastic pot and it loves it. Lots of room for the plant to shoot out new roots and grow nice and big and tall. So that one I definitely had to show you because it's been doing the most lately. <laughs> so that is my Monstera Adansonia. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna go put I'm gonna go put her back now. Okay, the last plant that I wanted to show you is this guy. I love this plant so much. It just gives me all of the tropical outdoor beachy vibes. <laughs> um, so I just repotted her into this pot that I painted. It's just kind of got that that dry brushed sort of look. I don't know what kind of look it was, but it's unique because I did it. Um, anyway, it has these really cool finger-like leaves. They're very reminiscent of like a palm tree and I love it. I like how crazy it grows and it's just so, so cool. Look at those. This guy gets not crazy tall, but it will get maybe about six feet. Um, I just gave her a pretty good haircut. If she's in less than ideal light, it will throw out a lot of runners with no leaves. But if you keep her in not bright light, but I would say like a medium to bright indirect light, then you won't get those leggy stems and runners. Um, but most, uh, amidrium, did I say an anthurium? It's an amidrium zibelanium. Did I even say what it was called? <laughs> Nikki, get it together. Um, anyway. <laughs> Most amidrium are like that. If they're not given the proper lighting conditions, they will just throw out runners. Um, that is also similar to a lot of uh, Rifidophora plants, but if you give it the right amount of light, she will thrive for you. And this guy has been thriving for me. All kinds of these beautiful leaves. They're starting to get really, really large. Um, she was one of the plants that had thrips uh, a few months back and um, <laughs> Surprisingly, she really went through it well. Their leaves are quite thin. They're not like your thick um, leaves like most philodendrons and monsteras. They're quite thin, more like um, like a palm, not even a palm. They have pretty thick leaves, more fern-like, um, but much more hardy than a fern. Anyway, beautiful, beautiful plant. And again, it's one of those plants that just really adds some texture to your collection and gives you a different leaf shape than your, as much as I love them, <laughs> just different from your typical heart-shaped leaves that a lot of us have in our home. Love this guy so much. Definitely highly recommend. Super easy. Really, really tolerant of underwatering. Um, this one stays on the top shelf and kind of like hangs down. And... If you've been around a while, you know that any plant that I put on a top shelf, against my better judgment, um, I know that it's one that I forget to water frequently. I just, anything above like this level, it's like, it doesn't exist. I don't see it. So anyway, this one is up there, but I leave it up there now because I know how well it responds to underwatering and it really does. Um, they will start to droop a little. You can see these leaves are starting to fold a little and that tells me that this lady needs a drink. So. I'm gonna go do that right now. <laughs> Plant number five, Amidrium, Zipolanium. <laughs> so cool. Okay guys, that was it. That was my top five favorite plants of February or best growing plants that just need some air time. <laughs> I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to go down and hit that like button down below. It really helps me and I really appreciate it. Um, also stay tuned for Sunday's video. It is a little long, it is a little ranty, uh, but there's some exciting news that I share with you at the end of Sunday's video that uh, I'm really hoping that you'll check out and I'm really hoping that you will be as excited as I am about it. So I'll thank you guys all so much for liking and watching and commenting and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. We are trying to get to 10K, slowly but surely getting there. 
<laughs> and uh, it would really mean a lot to me if you would help me out. Also make sure that you flip your notifications to all so that you don't miss a video and you get notified every time I upload a new video. Um, I upload videos every Friday without fail <laughs> and uh, I try to upload every Sunday as well. Um, with this new thing that will be announced on uh, Sunday. Um, that may be harder to do, but I definitely can confirm that there will always be a video out at 10 a.m. on Fridays. So if you want to hang out with us, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I would appreciate it so much. Um, but Sunday's video is a little all over the map, a little bit of everything. You'll see when you get there. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so happy Friday. If you're actually watching this on a Friday, I would like to wish you all an amazing and wonderful day, night, week, month, and year. I love y'all to bitty bits and I'll see you in the next video. Mwah.